Are you ready to apply to medical school? Applying before you're ready is a costly mistake that often leads to rejection. Dr. Jubal, MedSchoolInsiders.com. More than half of the applicants who apply to medical school are rejected. And in far too many cases, rejection could have been easily prevented if the applicant took the time to assess whether or not they were ready. First, are you able to submit your application early? Submitting your application soon after applications open in June is one of the most essential strategies for getting into medical school. Ignore all technical deadlines. Deadline dates on the AMCAS website will tell you that you have until the end of the year to submit your application, but if you hope to be a competitive candidate, that is not even remotely accurate. Submit your primary application as soon as possible in June and no later than the end of the summer. Rolling admissions means your chances of acceptance continue to decrease the later you you submit. And this strategy holds true throughout the entire application process. You must be ready to submit secondary applications within two weeks of receiving them, and you need to schedule interviews before all of the slots are claimed by your fellow applicants. If it's getting close to the end of the summer and you haven't submitted your application yet, you are better off waiting until the following application cycle. Planning to reapply next year if things don't go well is a terrible strategy. While many re applicants find success, it's not a position you should willingly put yourself in. The process is draining enough to do once, let alone twice, and not only will you need to significantly improve your application, but you'll also be exhausted by the time you reapply and lack the enthusiasm you had the first time. Additionally, there are many financial costs involved in applying to medical school as well as opportunity costs. The time you spend applying when you aren't ready could be better spent drastically improving your application application for the next cycle. Aim to get things right the first time around, even if it means delaying your application by a year. Even though a one-year setback may feel devastating, in the long run, one year is just a drop in the bucket of the long journey to becoming a doctor. If you're worried about staying on track, use our free medical school application monthly schedule to know what you should be working on when leading up to application season, link in the description. Second, are you in the right headspace? Apply Applying to medical school is far from easy. The application process is to your time and energy what the cookie monster is to cookies. The rest of the world does not stop because you're applying to medical school. If you are dealing with any unfortunate circumstances, such as the death of a close family member, a personal illness, or a devastating breakup, take extra care in considering whether or not you have the mental capacity to also take on applying to medical school. We're not saying these circumstances alone mean you should delay your application, but it's something you need to think about. Once again, going into the application process believing you can simply reapply next year only makes things more difficult. If you have something going on in your life that will prevent you from being able to put your best foot forward, you're much better off waiting until next year to apply. In the meantime, you can plan ahead, gain more experience, and work to get yourself into the right headspace. If you're thinking of applying to medical school, you're likely already a hard worker working and dedicated student. Taking a year off to get yourself where you need to be is not a failure or a setback. In fact, the opposite is true. Students often focus on when they get into med school because one year earlier gets them one year closer to becoming a doctor and the salary that comes along with it. But there's more strategy and nuance involved. You might be able to gain an acceptance at one of your backup schools, but does that school have everything you're looking for and open up all the doors you you'd want. Will that school be the best fit for helping you match into your best fit residency program, or will you ultimately have to compromise based on limited experiences and resources? An extra year, in some cases, can make a world of difference on your career trajectory and could even lead to merit-based scholarships that help cover the enormous cost of tuition. Third, are you a competitive candidate? While there are a number of factors that come into play here, there are some hard facts you can't ignore. Many medical schools have certain cutoffs for GPA and MCAT scores, but the bare minimum is far from what you need to gain an acceptance. It's critical that you research the average score of matriculants for the schools you want to apply to. Our all-new Med School Chance Predictor is a phenomenal resource for understanding your medical school readiness. It will help you determine if you have the hard metrics necessary to apply based on your GPA, MCAT score, and home state. 
With this free tool, you're able to craft an ideal school list using the most recent medical school data, including a school's tuition fees, match rate across different specialties, and much more. Try it absolutely free at medschoolinsiders.com forward slash schools. If you're unhappy with your school options after seeing that your grades, MCAT score, and experience aren't up to par for the schools you hoped to get into, you'll need to make a critical decision. Do you apply to more lower tier and safety schools, or do you delay your application in order to become a stronger candidate for the next application cycle? There is no wrong answer here, and it comes down to the previous conversation of time and if certain schools will open more doors than others. For example, if you want to become a neurosurgeon, attending a medical school without a neurosurgery program, which are often smaller and less competitive medical schools, will make it far more challenging to gain neurosurgery clinical or research experience. And if you don't want to become a neurosurgeon, remember that more than three quarters of matriculating medical students change their intended specialty by the time they graduate. I thought I wanted to become a pediatric gastroenterologist, something not very competitive, but ended up matching into plastic surgery, one of the most competitive specialties. Take the time to do extensive research on each school you're considering. You may find that you align quite quite well with schools you hadn't considered before. Remember, prestige isn't everything. There are many, many factors to consider when choosing which medical schools are the best fit for you. If your scores are lacking, there may be pre-med advisors or admissions consultants who recommend you consider Caribbean medical schools. Rather than going the Caribbean route, we advise most of our pre-med clients to work on strengthening their application. A great deal can be accomplished in just one or two years if you delay your application and refocus your efforts. Most pre-meds, guidance counselors, and even pre-med advisors don't fully understand the future downsides of attending a Caribbean medical school because they are solely focused on the first step of getting into a possible school. The harsh reality is that it will be far more difficult to match into a strong residency program, and it will close many doors if you're interested in a competitive specialty like dermatology, neurosurgery, or plastic surgery. Osteopathic or DO schools fall somewhere in the middle. They are certainly a better option than Caribbean schools, but even osteopathic schools have many notable downsides over allopathic or MD schools. We covered the pros and cons of MD, DO, and Caribbean schools in a previous video, link in the description. Next, do you have the experience and materials you need? Do you have a competitive GPA and MCAT score? Have you put in the time to write edit, and refine your personal statement? Do you have four to five strong letters of recommendation? Do you have notable experiences to discuss in the work and activity section of your application? Do you have a compelling and cohesive narrative that ties everything together? In order to be a competitive candidate, each aspect of your application must be strong. If you have a weak area that you're already aware of, that's okay, but it means you'll need to make up for it by exceeding expectations in other areas of your application. The next thing to consider is whether or not you can afford medical school. The unfortunate truth is med school tuition costs tens of thousands of dollars every year, and that's not including the costs that add up throughout the application process. Each application you submit costs money, secondary applications cost even more, and then there's traveling to schools for interviews. While cost alone shouldn't hold you back, it is another factor to consider. If you're worried about any of the other questions we've raised in this video, such as the quality of your application, or whether you can submit your application in time, financial stress is another heavy burden. When you are a top performing student and sought after applicant, you have the potential to earn merit-based scholarships that can cover the majority of the cost of medical school. Being a top performer and crafting an incredibly compelling application is how I got all of my medical school tuition paid for and most of my living expenses too. These are the tactics we teach students who work with us at Med School Insiders. We've honed a strategic process for applying to medical school that gets students accepted at their top choice schools with merit-based scholarships that offset the outrageous cost of attending medical school. And lastly, do you want to take a year off? Be honest with yourself. Do you want to take some time off before going to medical school? Don't rush over this decision since this opportunity will not present itself again. Medical school is at least four years long. 
and after the summer between MS1 and MS2, you don't get summers off like in college. After medical school, depending on the specialty you choose, you'll have three to seven grueling years of residency. If you want to travel or pursue a personal interest, consider taking a year off before you apply, as you won't get this opportunity again, and you don't need this regret hanging over your head during medical school and beyond. So, bottom line, are you ready to apply to medical school? There are a number of factors to consider, and the more factors you have working against you, the lower your chances of acceptance. If you have a weak area of your application, you can make up for it by ensuring every other aspect of your application is stellar. But at the same time, if you are aware of a weak area in your application, are dealing with a traumatic life event, or cannot submit your application before the end of summer, it's a recipe for disaster. It all adds up. Assess your progress, and don't be afraid to delay your application if you believe you are falling behind or don't have an application that can get you into the schools you want. You will always have application jitters to contend with, and it's unlikely you'll ever feel 100% prepared and confident every step of the way. This is why you need to take a step back to assess your readiness. But students don't have the experience to know whether or not they are ready to apply. Our team has served on admissions committees, so we can tell you if your application is strong enough to gain an acceptance and if you'll be able to get into a top school. And we'll even work with you to identify weaknesses, target the areas that are the lowest hanging fruit, and strengthen your application to help you maximize your odds of getting into your dream medical school and becoming the doctor you've always dreamed of. There's much more strategy to applying than simply getting an acceptance to any medical school. Learn how our team of doctors can help you build your dream medical career at MedSchoolInsiders.com.